It may be blizzarding on the East Coast, but here in California, it's summer already, which is awesome because it means outdoor activities like running and biking and swimming and surfing. Although, to be fair, uh, around here, winter also means surfing because it turns out the Pacific Ocean pretty much stays the same temperature year round. And that temperature ranges from holy mother of God, that's cold to why would anyone subject themselves to this kind of cold, which was very confusing for me as a child who grew up on the East Coast watching Baywatch and 90210. Uh, I was very confused, but just so you know, it's true. The Pacific is really cold, you guys. Uh, but still, the summertime means that more people are going to be jumping into the ocean regardless of how cold it is. And that means that there's an increased chance of contact with some of the ocean's more famous residents, like sharks. Uh, in warmer areas and places where it's already summer, there have already been some incidences like uh, La Reunion Island, uh, which is a small patch of land in the Indian Ocean where there have been 20 violent shark-human encounters in just the past six years, which is quite a lot, comparatively speaking. Uh, Reunion was famous for its awesome waves and for producing world-class surfers, but now many residents there are too afraid to even go for a quick swim. Kelly Slater, probably one of the most famous surfers in the world, uh, recently called for a shark call after a young bodyboarder was killed by a shark in Reunion. Essentially, Slater thinks that we should kill a large number of tiger and bull sharks in the hopes of reducing the chances that they will kill the humans who are paddling around in their home. This is complete and utter bullshit. Shark calls do virtually nothing to safeguard humans, mostly because of how incredibly rare shark-human encounters are. Reunion is considered a death trap, and yet there's only been about one death per year. And killing all of the local sharks doesn't actually mean that more sharks aren't going to come. And, you know, these species can travel large distances across op open ocean. So if you kill the sharks, more sharks might just show up and continue biting humans. To actually solve the problem, you need to look at why it's a problem in the first place. And what's very interesting about Reunion is that just 120 miles away is a very similar island called Mauritius, where the tourist industry is booming and shark encounters are virtually unheard of. The last attack was in the 1980s. Researchers studying the differences between the two islands have found a few reasons for the increase in shark encounters in La Reunion. For a start, overfishing. Uh, depleting the shark's food supply around Reunion forces them closer to the shores looking for food. And if they're looking for food and they encounter some floppy meat bags, they're more likely to take a little nibble, see what's going on. Uh, that's something we can fix through conservation efforts and tighter controls on commercial fishing operations. Other things are out of our control, like the fact that the good surfing waves in La Reunion break over reef compared to the sandy beach break on Mauritius. Sharks are more likely to be actively seeking out food over coral reef, and hence they're, again, more likely to bite floppy meaty things. And at that point, we just need to accept that the ocean is where sharks live and they happen to be hunting in a place where we want to play on chunks of foam. And maybe at some point we should just let them win and go play on our chunks of foam elsewhere. Kelly Slater should get this since he's been involved in conservation efforts for years. Unfortunately, he seems to be letting his emotions get the better of his judgment, which Frankly, isn't that surprising because I also recently found out that Kelly Slater is a 9-11 truther. No one will probably listen to his opinions on that topic, but as a surfer, they might listen to him when it comes to shark calls. And that's dangerous because shark calls don't make humans any safer. They just endanger our fragile ocean ecosystems. Better to just go surf somewhere else. <laughs>